Sunrise Community of Polk County is a program for adults with developmental disabilities with cerebral palsy, mental retardation, and autism. We primarily serve people who are 21 years of age and older. And we have two uh, primary programs. One is our residential service program and the other is our adult day training facility. At our adult day training facility is where we run our Really Amazing Art program. Wheelie Amazing Art is a Sunrise Community program and entrepreneurial business for the individuals and the artists of Sunrise. They are not able to generally work out in the general population. And this gives them a chance to enhance their business skills and community relations. We make box things like um, boxes, napkin rings, and then we sell them initially was just an art program, but it grew to be an entrepreneurial business. Um, United Way of Central Florida came in and did a day of caring for us, and that's where they bring in people from a local business, and they do a, a service project. So they painted the room, our, our uh, tech center, which is our adult day training facility center, and and then after they were finished painting, we gave them a really amazing art box. Well, the leader for the group from Geico thought that was so neat. They said, gosh, can we, can we buy these? So we said, sure. So they ordered several hundred of those boxes. They sent us a check, and I think it was for about $500. The check came in, and I remember getting the check and running around our adult day training facility saying, we're in business. Wheeling Amazing Art has just become a business. It helps with the money that we make for no boxes. We're able to do different things like go on trips um, uh, or different, different things like that. It helps us have a little bit of spending money and then we also uh, give back to the community. It's a wonderful way for them to to be creative and to use uh, that creative energy that I, I think everyone has. Um, another is that it gives them a deep sense of pride and satisfaction to be able to take what they've made and worked so hard on and to give those products back to the community um, in the in the way of service. Some of Wheelie's most prominent successes would be uh, the Arts on the Park Gallery opening that we had a couple of years ago. We were also featured in Platform Florida, which gave us some exposure. We have artwork currently exhibited at Beef O'Brady's in North Lakeland and at Lakeland Regional Medical Center. We have been in magazines such as um, Polk Voice. We've given to the community through the Kaleidoscope Project where we actually painted one of the butterflies for that project to assist with the Common Ground Park for children with all abilities. We start with a blank piece of canvas on the floor which is white and the artists have adaptive wheelchair equipment that attaches to that to their wheelchairs that we then paint on the floor using rollers and different colors of paint. It's a layering process, so we put down a first layer to cover the entire canvas, train it from white to whatever our base color will be. Then we layer various colors on top of that, creating the effect of what you see in our artwork and boxes. We're divided up into different stations. There might be a group that's like folding boxes, or, uh, yep, folding boxes. And then there's another group that might be um, actually cutting out the, the box itself. And Once the canvas is completely dry, we then cut it into strips and use an Ellison machine to cut boxes, envelopes. We take pictures of our canvases to create greeting cards. Everything, every single thing of the preparation of, of the cards and the boxes is done by, by them. They have active participation in everything they do. So when the art comes out, it's like all, it's like abstracts. You know how when you're laying down or something outside and you're looking up 
and you see a cloud go by and it might look like something different. Well, whenever the canvases, the canvases that we do come out sort of like that. You might see, I've seen like animals, balloons. It's however your, your mind eye pictures it. I'm fascinated by what they do in really amazing arts. And the idea was great. I, I, I love art and uh, just to see that they can do so much. They don't focus into what they cannot do. If one person can only use the one finger of the right hand, they'll put that finger on and another person will help them to move the other lid and complete the box. And that just amazes me because we so much look at the things we can't do. I can't paint, I can't sing, I can't speak in front of people. But they, they, they said, okay, I got one finger and I can do this much. If we can focus on the things we can do, how much more could we do to help them and just get together with them and help them to do more? Orders would help. Uh, they would, they would, they would definitely help. But we can always use. I mean, if you just want to come by and visit or um, volunteer or something. But the orders would real, would really help keep keep it going. Well, we can always use volunteers. We love to have people come in and volunteer their time. The artists love to have people that they can show their work to and, and have them interact with them um, and not be isolated. Feeling isolate, for them, feeling isolated most of their lives, um, this is a great avenue for them to be able to get out there and meet and see people and talk with people and interact. Donations are great, but uh, when you come, you don't really understand it until you come here and see they need and and what they the special equipment they need then you just really want to give and pour yourself to do something for them <laughs>